To many people, this is the scene that develops in their mind when they think of the origins of petroleum. A couple dinosaurs hanging around the old watering hole, and something bad happens. This bad thing kills them all. They're all laying around dead, and they somehow turn into oil and slide into a hole in the ground. Several million years later, this oil gets pumped out of the ground and into your gas tanks, or diesel tanks. The boring scene that should be coming to their mind is actually this. What is this, you may ask? Well, it's aquatic organisms. Plankton, zooplankton, phytoplankton. And these small organisms, over eons and eons, it was suspected that they lived in a low oxygen environment and died and laid down high carbon content organic layers in coastal swamps. At least this is according to the experts. And this time scale, which was about 300 million years ago, is known as the Carboniferous Era. Now it's called the Carboniferous because we find a lot of carbon-containing deposits in this rock layer. Now this predates the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods, which is when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. So Carboniferous laid down oil deposits before the dinosaurs. Not to say there were never any oil deposits later, but the Carboniferous is suspected to be the fundamental and majority of our petroleum deposits. So basically, sun rained down energy on small organisms, aquatic organisms. They died, leaving this energy in their bodies. This accumulated, forming petroleum. This is according to petroleum geologists, which is actually its own field of geology. Now, these are working geologists, not just academics, because oil companies hire these people to find oil deposits, which, of course, makes them lots of money. So they need to understand the origins of oil and where it is laid down so they can find it, pump it out, and then have people buy it from them. Now, this all ties into why we will never run out of oil, if you were wondering why. So oil is, of course, a fossil fuel. It's laid down a long time ago from dead organisms. It's also a natural and limited resource, meaning that as we use it, there will be less and less of it every day that we use it. Now, how much total oil is there? Well, estimates are about 1.5 trillion barrels. A barrel of oil is about 42 gallons. And we utilize about 95 million barrels per day, of course, the total amount and the amount we use every day is estimates. Now, if you divide the amount we use by the total amount, you get about 43 years left at current usage rates. So you might be thinking like, well, 43 years, we will have zero oil left. But that is not the case. And the reason that's not the case is a little field I like to call economics. As oil reserves decrease, at a steady demand rate, they would decrease at a set rate. However, as the reserves decrease, the price will naturally increase, which drives down the demand. This could lead to a situation, let's say in about 35 years, this is just a guess. We could have 300 billion barrels of oil left instead of 1.5 trillion, but gas prices may be about $25 US per gallon, and maybe the usage rates would be 5 million barrels per day, that's just because the price is so high at $25 per gallon. Now, these numbers might seem off, especially the price per gallon for fuel. However, just as a personal note, I remember when my father was my age filling up his vehicle, it was about 85 cents a gallon. It's about four times that much now for me to fill up. Now, some of that's due to inflation, and of course, some of that is due to, of course, the price of oil. Now, you have to remember as well that oil companies process and extract the easiest to access oil first. The reason for this is they need to make a profit, and if they went after the hardest to access oil, they would not be turning a profit because their competitors would be getting easier oil, and it would cost less for them to develop and market their products. So, as oil reserves decrease, the price will naturally increase. Not only that, it will increase because extracting the oil is going to be harder and harder to get and find. That's just basic economics. You have to remember that oil is a 
inanimate object, and it doesn't really care what the price of it is. Once it's out, it's out. Now, this is not to condemn the use of oil. Everyone watching this video, myself especially included, has benefited from the use of petroleum. It gives us an extremely cheap fuel source for moving products, making plastics, air travel, everything. This economy runs on oil. But is it ever going to run out? Well, the answer is no. Oil's never going to run out. However, that's not to say we'll always have a huge, easy, and cheap supply of it. Over time, it will get more expensive, and at some point, it will be just not economically feasible to use anymore. So will we run out of oil? No. But one day, you may not be running oil in your vehicle.